Okay. What do you think about Switzerland? I think it's beautiful. I think it's a place I'd like to snowboard. It's cheesy, it's chocolatey, and it's expensive. And I love all of those things. What do you think about smartphones and concerts? I think it's a necessary evil of sorts. I think it's beautiful when people are able to put away their phones and experience it because I think there's a collective consciousness that happens then and things are observed on a bigger level than when you're looking at through your phone. I think some of the artists like Jack White, maybe Radiohead and I think Childish Gambino do some things where they tell them to put the phones away and I think that's a nice move and hopefully people enjoy putting their smartphones away. But I think people also get to see things that they wouldn't normally see who aren't attending the concert. I don't think it's going away. And that's part of the problem, I guess. What do you think about open air festivals? I think open air festivals are great. Look at this, look at around us. Talk panorama, panorama festivals. Yeah, they're beautiful. And uh, it's lovely to be outside in the summer. What do you think about groupies? Um, I don't think groupies exist on, a, on the level that they did in the 60s and 70s when they were kind of, when that, that moniker arrived. And I think maybe there was a point where it wasn't as uh, frowned upon or carried as negative connotation that it does now, but I think in 2019, I don't think it carries a positive connotation whatsoever. Even since that movie Almost Famous where they say we're not groupies, we're band-aids, and maybe even then it didn't have a good connotation. But um, So I don't really acknowledge that word or groupies in general. I like music fans. All right. Tell me your worst joke. Um, A guy walks into a bar, says, ouch. No? Okay, a Jew, a Catholic, and an Irishman walk into a bar. The bartender says, what is this, a joke? It's pretty good. I guess most Irish are Catholics, but any, you know. Tell me something about your music. Um, it's rock and roll music. And uh, it has a drummer now, which is interesting, a full kit drummer. It used to only have a cocktail kit. Um, there's nice, big, sweeping melodies and uh, beautiful harmonies on account of the other two. And uh, it's infectious. Tell me something about your tour life. Um, the drummer and I make our own coffee every morning on tour which is a nice little thing to look forward to and a way to save money and get good consistent beans on the road, you know, get that caffeine fix. And there's a lot of ice cream that goes on uh, within our band. A lot of gelato, a lot of desserts, a lot of sweet tooths, you know. Um, yeah. Tell me something about what's your favorite curse word. I don't really know anything. I mean, they're expletives, so you don't really think about it. It's just like, fuck, shit. I mean, I don't know if fuck is my favorite. I think a good uh, diss is clown. I think when you call someone a clown, that's like more effective than saying fuck you or you're a shithead, you know? I've been thinking about that recently, calling someone a clown. So, you know, use it. It's more effective than fuck or shit. But I think those have kind of lost the weight that they once carried. Tell me something about when you can't sleep in the middle of the night, what do you do? Last night I took half a sleeping pill that my mom gave me because we flew in from Los Angeles, so we were bound to be jet lag and uh, she's a great nurturing Jewish mother. So, but if not, sometimes I'll have like a snack attack and eat till I fall asleep. I like to think that I wake up in the middle of the night and read, but no, it's usually excessive snacking or drinking if there's anything within reach. Tell me something about who was your childhood celebrity crush. Um, I loved the, 
Well, probably the woman from Fast Times at Ridgemont High who takes her top off. I forget her name. Michael Schumann would know it. He's the best at like playing celebrity and with actors' names. But whoever that is. And then uh, I loved Elaine in Back to the Future. Yeah. Tyler's is, uh, I forget who Tyler's is. Tell me something about what is the scariest thing you have ever done. I don't know the scariest thing I've ever done. We've had some treacherous 30 hour drives through like the mountains in Colorado. And one time we like slid on ice in outside of uh, Wisconsin. That was pretty scary. I think driving is generally like part of the scariest things that we do as a band because drives are usually very excessive and in unsafe conditions. And especially when you're in a van like we are chasing a bus. So. Tell me something about, at last, I would like to say, celebrate life and love and, uh, you know, give your friends a hug. Because they need it. We all need hugs. We need human touch. Thank you.